hello hi hi welcome back to another video but first let me show you how i got the senene aka grasshoppers now in uganda this is a delicacy it's seasonal and uh, i was out running some errands and i decided oh my god senene season so let's make content that's my vendor swagger words ever let's begin Ah, so back again my village excitement i uh, made sure i had to get some senene already cooked okay because always when it comes to street food there is something about street food that you won't be able to get home so i got me a little snack 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 <laughs> because i could not wait for mine all right uh that's how they look okay that's me enjoying the the, the snack all right so i love this and uh, that, now let's head home uh you get home this is how they look like uh now reminder when you buy this uh don't lock don't close the 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 bag okay just keep the bag open so they can stay fresh and breathing and trust me if you lock that bag especially in kampala with the heat the smell baby it's going to smell like fermented meow meow if you know what i'm talking about you know <laughs> and we all know fermented meow meow does not smell good so i got home i put mine in the fridge for 30 minutes just for them to relax to you know as you can see they're dormant right now but later on in the video you're going to notice they are a bit awake this was me shaking them up to see if they are still awake all right so remember important uh if you're buying them on the road make sure they're they are open the bag the top of the bag where they put they put the the grasshoppers for you keep it open don't lock it up you need them to get airflow and they are better when they are still alive and fresh when you get to cook them all right all right so you get home wash them as well this is me after i had given them a very good nice rinse i wash them four times minimum has to be four times okay you can go crazy all right fully washed as you can see they are a bit alive and moving ish ish all right these are the ingredients uh, red onions black pepper salt and some green onions plus olive oil so that's it so we are going to start with some black pepper uh again i don't measure that's just me i just don't measure when i cook i'm i'm african what I, what can i say i'm allowed to brag i'm a ugandan woman who can cook so measure for who then you work out your chumvi aka salt put your salt yes it might look like it's a lot but it's not all right so i just like to start with the way the dry ingredients and you know and as you can tell the black pepper and the salt work these guys up eh? <laughs> it's like they're like oh my god this itches as you can tell suddenly they are very active okay so mix properly and make sure everything is fully fully coated with your black pepper and your salt all right um then we are going to go and heat it with some olive oil all right now for if you're new here um i lost a lot of weight and i'm keeping it off so Part of the things i do is i only use olive oil nothing else and i recommend it okay so pour it over your sanane all right make sure they are fully covered if your food does not look like a muhima girl who has finished to put amaguta on herself please add more oil all right but as you can tell mine are shiny and sexy like a muhima girl and shiny <laughs> okay so my pyrex pan you put them in your pyrex uh even them out properly all right uh because you just want them to be evenly spread out uh on the surface okay boom 
off to the oven 250 degrees this takes me one hour now where well, as these are in the oven you go ahead and chop the sexy you know garnish like a green onion this is after the first 20 minutes you can see they're still plump okay and so you are going to continue to do this mix until you get to that crisp of course you test you have to keep you have to pay attention otherwise you burn them all right then you add your onions for the last five minutes you want your onions cooked but not really really cooked you still want that crunch okay and that freshness from the onions and put it back into the oven for the last uh, five minutes oven off and you cool and you're ready to serve now i love this with uh, basically to me this is a drinking food like uh, over a whiskey or a beer something like that but you can have it with tea in uganda it's usually an evening snack with tea now mix everything make sure all the, all the onions and the cinnamon are mixed evenly all right boom back in your oven and we are back finally add in the green onions this is for garnish this is also for you know the nice nice test all right it's just good to have that little bite of freshness in your mouth all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want as well you can uh, garnish this with some chili flakes if you have them personally you're going to see that i used some hot pepper all right so i hope you enjoyed this uh don't forget to subscribe like comment and share bye